ओम शांति थर्टी एथ मार्च टू सैटरडे द ब्लेसिंग मे यू हैव गुड विशेस एंड प्योर फीलिंग एंड मेक द फादर्स संस्कार्स यूर ओरिजिनल संस्कार्स मे यू हैव गुड विशेस एंड प्योर फीलिंग्स एंड मेक द फादर्स संस्कार्स यूर ओरिजिनल संस्कार्स even now some children have various sanskars of feeling upset of stepping aside of speaking and listening to others they say of them what can i do these are my sanskars this word my makes you slack in your efforts it's something that belongs to ravan not you however whatever are the father sanskar are the original sanskars of brahmins those sanskars are of being a world benefactor and of having pure thoughts for others be one who has good wishes and pure feelings for all Baba is talking about different sanskars. Many children have various sanskars. First, getting upset. Second, stepping away. And third, pradarshan, parachintan, speaking and listening to others. so these are some of the sanskars baba is describing the first is getting upset at every small thing the mood keeps on changing there is fluctuation in the mood all the time and person is at the mercy of others his mood is being controlled by others so every small thing makes him upset so baba is talking about the sanskar spiritual life means constant and stable mood if the graph of mood is going up and down up and down like this there would be wave of sorrow and there would be wave of suffering and then sometimes the wave of happiness but stable and constant thing won't be there spirituality means one remains stable if even in the face of defeats one is not overjoyed with victory one doesn't lose his control when there is when there are favorable situations so whatever are the situations whether they are favorable or unfavorable whether they are good or bad whether they are adverse or the worst person remains stable this stability is the goal of spiritual life if we analyze the graph of our mood throughout the day we would come to the conclusion that probably we are not ekras we are not constant and stable throughout the day because there are 100 things coming and disrupting our moods so and then when asked they say it is my sanskar what should i do it is my nature it's my habit i am like this only from long time it's or they will blame situations they will pin the blame on situations so getting upset getting disturbed getting unhappy 
mood swings suffering from mood swings so this is not brahmin sanskar the second is stepping aside stepping away if one doesn't like somebody he develops hatred for that person and tries methods to avoid that person or when you don't like a particular seva probably your involvement is or your opinions and suggestions were declined you don't feel like to participate in that seva anymore probably you wanted to be the leader or the group leader of that seva and somebody else is made that so one loses interest in that seva if your ideas are not accepted then one develops disinterest in that particular seva so this stepping away because behind the stepping away there is a hidden anger there is a feeling of revenge suddenly somebody stops visiting center there has to be a strong negative impulse without that such a thing is not possible there has to be something which has gone very deep some waves of negativity and then one takes up the decision to step away to go away and on the surface gives different excuses so stepping away and somebody says this is my sanskar what i should do and third seeing others and talking about others parachintan and pradarshan all the time one is busy and four things quotation question correction and criticism this has come in one murli quotation means you keep on quoting others i do this because others also doing that i do this because seniors are doing that i do that because i have seen many brahmins doing it so one starts quoting not only that one also starts quoting the father baba you only said this in particular murli for example baba might have said for those uh, who are in the military services that they can eat bread outside bread when there are difficult situations but this can be used person is retired from military services and now he uses the same word as statement that i can use because baba has said so this is wrong quotation quoting seniors to your advantage second is questioning questioning things the mind is filled with 100 questions there are questions about everything there are doubts about everything there is suspicion about everything and there is no end to any question even if one asks the question he is least interested in answer he is more interested in asking the question because answers we know and they are the same common place so one is not interested in answers one is interested more in asking questions because when you ask questions suppose that is conducting a class and you ask question your important has gone up that means you are very attentive and you are listening and there is something going on so some people even ask question for that reason if there is a real question that is a different thing but question can become a means of showing off so questions are asked not because one wants to know the answer 
questions are asked as a part of exhibition so questioning oneself questioning baba questioning others or questioning rules and regulations of yagya and questioning everything and everyone judging each and everyone finding finding faults in things in sevas and then correction correcting others dadi janki says if you want to create enemies in this yagya start correcting others you will have enemies galore multiple enemies if you want go and start giving corrections go and start telling people that you were sleeping during amrit vela go and start telling others that today the point which has come in murli it is especially for you this blessing the moment i was hearing this blessing i remembered you because it was for you correction and then criticism criticizing everything everyone without understanding the other person's perspective and point of view so this is all about <coughs> parachintan and pradarshan the four types of maya quotation questions corrections and criticism now baba is saying these are the three sanskars getting upset second stepping away and third parachintan thinking about others speaking about others they say of them what can i do these are my sanskars these are my sanskars baba says the very word my makes you slack in your efforts this is the moment you say my the moment you say this is my sanskars you become slack in efforts it is something that belongs to ravan not you these are the things belongs to ravan these things belong to ravan these goods belong to ravan this merchandise belong to ravan not to you so give his things back to him you know there was an indian independence struggle freedom struggle there was one movement which was started it was known as swadeshi movement what they did in that whatever british products were there whatever british goods were there what they did they put in the bonfire because these are not our products it's also known as vande matram movement it started i think in 1905 when the lord curzon divided bengal so that was the point it has got various five phases this movement ideally it was this is one movement which is a pre gandhian freedom struggle movement it was started even before gandhi and there was one sikh person <coughs> baba ram singh actually the credit of starting this goes to this man because he started boycotting all the british goods and this is the movement which is known as swadeshi movement and later on taken up by many people who came before gandhi and during the gandhian period this became a very important freedom struggle movement and mahatma gandhi called it the soul of swaraj is swadeshi so this swadeshi movement means burning all the british products and that has got a very important role in our indian freedom struggle so burning means these are not our products burning means we will not use this we will use only which is made in india only and only which is swadeshi whatever that is videshi whatever that is british goods products merchandise things clothes at various places 
they organized bonfire and there they put all those british things so something like that we have to do here baba is saying when you say it is my sanskar this is not yours first reject it it is not mine it is videshi it is boycott the all the foreign products create the bonfire and put into that and burn those foreign products which are not yours burn those foreign sanskars which are not yours your original sanskar is not this in today's sakar murli baba said this is the bhatti this is the bhatti which baba has organized arranged this is the furnace of love this is the furnace of remembrance so create a bonfire a invisible bonfire and put all those sanskar into that bonfire which are not ours and one of them is getting upset one of them is getting stepping away one of them is thinking about others parachintan parachintan has got negative connotation it doesn't means positive thing while in english we translate it as thinking of others but thinking of others doesn't mean that we are thinking for their welfare thinking of others is actually the translation of parachintan which has got a very strong negative nuances so negative thinking that's a part of parachintan so baba says deny these sanskars these are not yours your sanskars are the original and the eternal sanskar adi anadi those are your sanskar not these sanskars which have come to you from corporate because these all sanskars are based on a very strong sense of body consciousness so they say of them what can i do these are my sanskar the word my makes you slack it makes you inattentive it makes you to have that lazy attitude like a dysical attitude in your efforts it's something that belongs to ravan not you however there's a very strong and beautiful statement here whatever are the father's sanskars are the original sanskars of brahmins whatever are his sanskars whatever are father's sanskars these are children sanskar in today's sakar murli baba had said at one place just as i am the ocean of knowledge you are also the ocean of knowledge you are no less so whatever are the father's sanskar these are also your sanskars in today's sakar murli baba said at one place baba gives sakash to each and every child baba gives sakash baba gives search light baba gives current baba gives light these are the four different words used at different places baba gives sakash to each and every child baba gives search light to each and every child baba gives current when you but if your battery is charged then only you can get the current the charging and discharging of battery if you get light from baba so just as baba does this it's also our job to give such light to each and every soul of this planet earth to give sakash to each and every soul of this planet earth to give current to each and every soul not a single soul should be missed at amrit vela emerge the entire globe and give sakash to each and every soul because souls are powerless because souls are weak they are very very feeble they don't have the power and they are drowned in suffering and they are so sorrowful and there are suppressed emotions in them 
suffering from self victimization suffering from strong sense of guilt consciousness so when souls are sick spiritual poverty they are suffering from it's our job to fill them to enlighten them to give them power to give them courage recently there was a murli last sunday where baba said give them eye because they are blind give them leg because they cannot walk give them wings because they cannot fly they are beggars give them treasure they are sitting on the bed of sorrow make them sing the song of happiness they are sitting on the pyre of worries make them dance in happiness they are disheartened make them happy and last they are dead make them relief eight things these are the eight duties and we discussed it ashta siddhis this is what you have to become siddhi swarup saks embodiment of success because this is the state of the world at present absolutely sorrowful and that's why baba said in today's murli baba gives sakash to each and every child so whatever are the father's sanskar they are my sanskars whatever he is doing i have to do whatever his service that is my service because my every thought my every thought my every action is going to become the law vidhan is going to become memorial yadgar this is tomorrow's avyakta murli whatever you think whatever you do your every thought your every action is going to become the laws of the new world you are responsible for creating the laws of the new world you are the law maker you are the vidhata vidhi vidhata you set the laws it's your divine parliament which is getting established now it is the divine constitution which you are creating now you are the pillars of that new world that new constitution so whatever are the father sanskars these are my sanskar baba said in today's murli baba has come to recharge the battery so if he has come to recharge the battery i have also to recharge the souls because souls have got totally discharged this is also the godly lottery so just as he has come and he has brought lottery to me let me also go and bring lottery godly lottery to all the spiritually paupers those who are suffering from spiritual penury spiritual poverty that's my job that is my task so sanskars now four types of sanskars baba has described what are baba father's sanskar first world benefactor vishva kalyan kari he is world benefactor he doesn't benefit one soul he doesn't benefit one state he doesn't benefit one country he doesn't benefit one family he benefits the entire world his interests are universal so just as he is vishva kalyan kari i am also world benefactor universal that is his sanskar second pure thoughts for others shubha chintan kari he has got a very pure thoughts for everyone he doesn't think that no matter what they have done they haven't done very good things to me they have tried to insult they have tried to belittle they have tried to malign they have tried to condemn they have tried to cast aspersion they have tried to insult whatever others have done but father is always having pure thoughts for others shubha chintan kari so first is vishva kalyan kari second is shubha chintan kari third good wishes shubha bhavana good wishes for all let everyone benefit 
सर्वे भवंतु सुखिना नो मैटर व्हाट दे हैव डन बहुजन हिताय बहुजन सुखाय इट्स फॉर द गुड ऑफ मेनी इट्स फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ मेनी एंड प्योर फीलिंग्स शुभ कामना सो शुभ भावना एंड शुभ कामना सो फादर इज विश्व कल्याणकारी एंड फादर इज शुभ चिंतनकारी एंड फादर इज शुभ इज है ऑलवेज हैविंग शुभ भावना एंड शुभ कामना सो इफ दीज आर हिज संस्कार माई संस्कार शुड ऑल्सो बिकम लाइक दिस इफ दीज आर हिज संस्कार आई मस्ट ट्राई टू इमिटेट मिमिक एमुलेट हिम इन एवरीथिंग बाबा से इज कॉपी इफ यू डू कॉपी इन दोज एग्जाम्स यू गेट कॉट हियर कॉपी इज अलाउड सो कॉपी दीज संस्कार ऑफ द फादर सो विल रिवाइज अगेन टूडे इज ब्लेसिंग मे यू हैव गुड विशेस एंड प्योर फीलिंग्स एंड मेक द फादर संस्कार यूर ओरिजिनल संस्कार सो द टास्क इज टू If this is the soul, and there are layers and layers of the sanskars, these are the pseudo sanskars, which are not my sanskar. I am upset. I am stepping away, or I am getting. I am thinking of others. These are not. Even now, some children have various sanskars of feeling upset, of stepping aside, of speaking and listening to others. They say of them, "What can I do?" These are my sanskar. The word "my" makes you slack in your efforts. This is a very beautiful checking point. What are the things that make me slack in my efforts? There must be some points where I become slack, careless, inattentive in my efforts. It's something that belongs to Ravan and not me. So create a mental bonfire and put all those so, uh, videshi. start a spiritual swadeshi movement <laughs> spiritual swadeshi means my own sanskars and whatever that is videshi put that into bonfire and let it burn however whatever are the father sanskars are the original sanskars of brahmin these sanskars are of being vishwakalyankari shubha chintankari shubha bhavana shubha kamna so world benefactor having pure thoughts for all and good wishes and pure feelings for all so these sanskars these are father sanskars and these are my sanskar let them mingle let them become one let there should not be dichotomy in these two sanskars so bridge the gap whatever his or mine